Do something like this and you have days where you think why have i done it what and then you come and you meet nice people like yourself that actually say i absolutely love what you've done because yeah. you never know what you do is right do you yeah. Aha! Welcome back to Scooby D. So we're uh, just in Stratford upon Avon. And why are we here? Well, very similar to the last time we were here, which was the Greg Virgo leaving do almost two years ago. But this time it's the Overland Vehicle Show, and there's a few other YouTubers coming down. And uh, it was cancelled last year, obviously, due to everything that's going on. Um, but they've managed to get it on today, so we're just turning up now. I wanted to give the van a bit of a wash, but I've not found anywhere to clean the van, any garages, so it's a bit dirty. Um, but uh, never mind. Looking forward to getting here. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. It's really warm at the moment, so, well, not stupidly warm, but about 18 degrees, 8 o'clock at night. That's perfect for me and Scoobs. Scoobs! Scooby! Say hello. Okay, out the window. So we're just pulling into the uh, race course here, Stratford upon Avon. It looks pretty busy actually. It's a lot busier than last time I was here. So, uh, oh, let's turn that indicator off. Let's see what's happening here then. Good evening. Follow them. Follow them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, follow them. Ah. Hey, Scooby. There's other dogs here. Not that you like other dogs much. Fantastic. Well, I love it. And this weekend's going to be really warm. Tomorrow it's actually going to be 22 degrees, which is well earned, well earned uh, a bit of sunshine. I'm travelling down south for 10 days on a bit of a trip. Stores! <laughs> oh my god, it's stores! How are you Hello, doing? Darling. All right. Oh my god, I know you're a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Steve. Yeah. Oh, it's so good to meet you. Well, I'm here. You're there. The cat's in there as well. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's so much fun. All right. This is just fabulous show. I know. It's uh, so many people here, aren't it's there? It's so good to meet you. I'm so glad you've come. Uh -huh. it really is good to see you. You too. You well, too. Hopefully, we'll see each other around. I see you. That's your van, right? Yeah, that's me. I'll come and say hello. Thank you. All Thank right. You Bye. Bye, darling. Uh -huh. Check out that. <laughs> That's an old beast, isn't it? That one. So here we are. We've arrived. God, it took about an hour to get in, but um, just getting the last bit of sunset. It's pretty busy here. Pretty packed. Nice and dry, though. Well, we finally made it out. Um, oh, we've been climbing this morning, got up early and then um, drove to the drove to the climbing place an hour and drove here three hours. A bit tired actually, so I was going to do a little walk around tonight and show you some of the vans, but I think we're going to save that for tomorrow because it's already getting dark. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good sunset though, look at that. That little bit of mist as well, I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro, but a mist just rising, that's, that's pretty cool. Look 
Queenie. That's like a whole pub. So I've come across this gentleman's uh, van and it's huge. Oh, lorry. What's your name? Simon. Simon. Tell us about this van, Simon. Where do I start? It's been a nightmare from the word go. <laughs> All right. When oh. you, is it a lockdown, baby? No, I did it before lockdown, uh, 2019. I uh, just wanted something bigger than a motorhome. You certainly achieved that. And I didn't want an American motorhome. And I'd seen house trucks in New Zealand and America and thought, I like it, you know? Yeah. It's amazing, the job so you've done. So I wrote a list of everything that I wanted when you go camping and just put it together. And it, I did the box and then got the truck and put the box on it. Oh, right. So that means this can be put on a pontoon and float it. Ah. Or if I have problems with the lorry, I'll just change the lorry and lift this onto the next one. And how long did, that's a great idea, how long did it take you to do? Probably about 12 months from start to finish to get it usable. Yeah. And then three years on, I'm still trying to tweak it and perfect it. And the name's Queenie? Yeah. What's that after? Well, we just like the name and I couldn't think we'd tried loads of names and when you're naming something, we went through hundreds of names and it just never felt right and we heard the name Queenie about three months ago. Okay. And I said, we, me and my wife both said, that is what we need to call her. There you go. And it matches. You couldn't think of this being called anything else. No, it's, 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 it looks like, it's like a pub actually. I thought, I thought it was yeah. like you were going to have some fine ales in here. No, I'll drink your fine ales. <laughs> but, I mean, could it be a pub? Could we go to events and start a bar? I don't think I want the ass. No, no, I don't blame you. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, have a nosy round. Okay. Here. So we've got like a, quite like this step out here. Look, you know, it's a, it's a. You sort of feel like you can survey the land from that. Yeah. It's a first floor apartment up there. So, yes. Yes. A penthouse bedroom. Wow! Look inside here. I love it. That's huge. You've even got like a bed at the front there. Yeah, double bed at the front. Double bed there. Double bed upstairs. Massive log burner, that will keep yeah. it warm. And there's another double bed upstairs, which is the stairs around the back, are they? Stairs there, they fall down. Oh, here's the stairs. The staircase. Here's the stairs here, look. They fall down and there's a big double bed up there. Wow, what a place. And do, do you want to take us through a little bit of your kitchen build here? Yeah, my wife insisted she wanted a butler sink. Yeah. And a proper cooker for cooking Christmas dinner and everything, so I put it in. And then I wanted to put a live edge in, which means it's it's very natural looking. Yeah. So we've just recently put this in. We're going to change the cooker because we're going to get actually a, a different cooker in here. So this was just temporary so we could go away and cook. And then these cupboards I found in charity shops and bits of old wood and tape mesh and just for storage brilliant isn't it? and just... then yeah the tiling just for when you get in and you've got wet feet it's easy to clean oh, full size. I mean, oh these are all just for hanging clothes me and my mother my wife and the dogs have their own drawer fantastic and look at this and then that's it. you've got a tub my nephew's joined me and he's he lives on his own and he never puts the seat down <laughs> no i mean but you've got the hot tub there uh, yeah, it's shower, or you can fill it full of hot water and have a bath. That is awesome. So it's a proper soak. I really like that, and that's like an old keg. Yeah. A wine wine barrel, was it? A whiskey barrel. There's a whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. But you don't want to lay down in a bath. You want to sit in it, so yeah. you can sit up to your neck. Right. Go. Can you carry, keep enough water? Do you have to plug that into the? I neck? used to carry around a thousand liters. But I've changed it. I only need 650 litres now. So I've got a massive tank at the front. What size truck. engines this thing got? Oh, it's powerful enough. I'm three and a half tonne lighter than I need to be. Right, OK. Because it's an 18 tonne truck. Oops. And then the fridge and all the cupboards. Oops. Yeah, sorry. All need locking. So they yeah. all lock in so when you travel, they don't move. And where did the uh, stained glass windows come from? Because this is a bit of a treat, isn't it? Ah, uh, I made them. The Did you? patio doors came from Dover. Yeah. These came from Braintree in Essex. Yes. The back door came from Colchester. And all these windows are found all over the country. That's brilliant. And then I wanted them to be private, but I also like the colour. So when the sun shines through, it changes the colour in here. And yeah. 
so they're a little bit private but they're also beautiful yeah using light yeah. in, a, in a really nice way so uh, that's what i did i just thought well if you're going to do something or try to do every detail in here look at every corner you look at and make it something nice you know i like what you've done and look at that even upholstery uh, name Queenie. yeah and then if you look the bathroom there oh yeah you can so see you there you can see indeed. through i put glass so you could see the oak barrel and when it's lit up i normally have ornaments down there or bottles so you've been traveling about much then have you isn't it just go away weekends away and camping yeah yeah and where are you based i live in suffolk right okay yeah originally from lancashire right well simon thank you very much for your tour and what a wonderful vehicle i'm, uh... I'm glad you like it yeah oh, it's really cool it's really you cool. do something like this and you have days where you think why have i done it what and then you come and you meet nice people like yourself that actually sell I absolutely love what you've done yeah. here because you never know what you do is right do you yeah and like you say if the van does pack up or if you want to put it onto a barge yeah you've got you, you just move it off just ship it off like that yeah so you've got the speaker ready for the uh, pub yeah i can't, <laughs> can't get any wi-fi in on that right okay this, I think, yeah what a wonderful van there from simon i'm glad you like it Thank yeah you. So I've just met Neil, he's come to say hello, just having a cup of tea. I think he's seen Scooby running around. Hi Neil, how are you yeah. doing? Yeah, now, good, good. Now Neil apparently has listened to my playlist a hundred times and I thought no one listens to my playlist. <laughs> I was like, that's fantastic. But look at this van he's got here. He's basically picked up a van, same age as mine, and he's had it painted a complete original colour. What's the colour called? It's like Mercedes Blue Grey. Now this outside looks like a really professional camper van. He's had it re-sprayed. Got the awning on the top there and guess what he's got he's got something that i really want to get check these out he's done a louis not a louis but we call him louis because we never know his name you know louis one man is whip it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now look at these now that's what i call some beastie wheels that is and you went for what size tires did you go for on this so they don't touch the when you when uh, you're the, turning the, the 255 55 r18s well they fit fine yeah, you, did you do this all yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Took me a best part of a year. Oops, you right, 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 if I uh, have a look in? Yeah. yeah. Are you, uh, are you um, quite handy then, or you, is it the first time you've done something like this? I'm quite handy, but, but uh, it took me a long time. I must have watched a thousand YouTube videos. Well, you do, because the, the hardest thing is getting it right, because yeah. you, don't, you don't really get a second chance, because you've got to take everything back out again, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And is that a massive fridge? Yeah. Like an 80 litre fridge or something like that? 130 litre. 130 litre fridge? Is that just full of beers? Uh, it, it was before last night. No, <laughs> not, not so much. <laughs> and have you got flares on as well, the site? Yeah, I've got flares on. Oh, so you get like a full size bed in there? Yeah, it's a queen size bed. Oh man, that's amazing. And how much does it cost to put these flares on? These, just show you the these flares here. About 500 quid. 500 pounds well, oh yeah because you of course you had it painted you didn't yeah. have to, so you put 500 pound for those two and i had it painted yeah. god so i'm going to tell you that my van now now with all the extra bits on that i've done um including the new hot water shower hanging off the back door yeah um i've spent six grand on yeah you're not going to tell me how much I was going to say, yeah, because no. the wife's going to be listening at home, <laughs> <Yeah>. isn't she? <laughs> how did I know that? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not telling you that. <laughs> Fair enough. First one is Tampa Dometic. Oh, yeah. Shower. So underneath I've got an LPG tank. Yep. Um, and then basically. Look at this, look. It all works. It all works. Oh wow, look at that. The shower. That's, that's some serious stuff there, isn't it? And how, how big is the tank underneath? The water tank, or mm. the gas tank. The water tank. Uh, the, the water tank's actually inside, that's 60 litres. Over the wheel arch? Uh, no, it's just under the, just behind the wheel arch. So the question is, I put 30 litres in my tank, I put 30 litres. Yeah. And uh, in my new one. And I worked out the other day that at best I'm going to get four showers out of that 30 litres. Yeah. Um, how many showers have you been getting out of your 60? Well, we went to Abbasock last week with, a whole, with all the kids and what have you. And I, must have, I think I had four showers. Kids about nine, ten. 
ten, so ten showers out of sixty. Yeah. Are they like one minute long. No, no, decent. At least four or five minutes long. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So the flow on that shower, it's it's good enough, but it's not blasting like. You know. Okay, so yeah. the one I've got, which is an uh, equestrial shower, it's a horse shower. It's Scooby, it's Scooby. Scooby Lost her now. We're talking away here. I think she, oh, she's with the other dog. Um, the one I've got is a special shower, actually gives about six litres a minute. And that is, you can't really go less than that because of the gas pressure yeah. on it. Yeah. I don't need it that powerful. It sounds like the one you've got is a better choice. I think that's only about six litres a minute, something like that. Can I have a look at the power, how much power is in it? Neil. This is the power that Neil's getting out of the shower. Now, yeah, yeah. Can, you, can you just push that up into the air so I can just see how much it goes? Yeah, okay, so I would say that's about half the power that I'm getting out of mine yeah. and I can't turn it down, so that's why you're getting getting a, be a longer shower. Yeah. Yeah. So just for comparison, my one, which apparently I can adjust the uh, amount of water that goes through in comparison to the when it strikes the gas up. Um, this is my one, as you can see, and I'd say there's sort of twice as much volume of water there, which is why I'm getting through so much. I'm going to try and adjust that down like Neil's and get um, nine showers. <laughs> Oh, looking at Neil's solar array, which is 540 watts. But what I like about it is how neat it is. He's uh, custom made an aluminium frame. <laughs> and from the outside, you really don't see the panels at all. That's fantastic. And Neil's opted for a lithium power supply. Yeah, you? it's a color blue Etty AC200. So it's got like a 2000 watt inverter built into it. Wow. and about 140 amp hours storage. And that's lithium amp hours, so we reckon yeah. that's equivalent to about 250 of your lead acid batteries, your AGM. Yeah. So uh, that's a nice little system, that. It goes straight down to there. And he's managed to get a full charge within about an hour of sunlight this morning. <laughs> yeah. It was so we're just looking around here at uh, the various different vans and I do love it when people take the time and, well, spend the money, I guess, to, uh, to colour their vans. And check out this one here. That is amazing, look at that, metallic purple. It's like an aubergine, actually. It's almost black in some shades. Now that is an amazing job, I love that. It cost a fortune, unless he works at the garage. Look, look at that. Oh uh, yeah, it's... Whew. Yeah, it's like aubergine. Liga Tuk Tuk's here. A bit of a cow thing going on. Don't know what quite was going on here, but we're going to come in and have a look. Good evening, sir. Can you tell us about? Can uh, you're both hiding now? <laughs> can you? Can you uh,